Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason Potter, owner and broker in charge of Grand Strand Coastal Realty. Many of you that have been following us over the past several years know that generally this time of year here in the fall, we do uh, enter hurricane season. And as many of you have been watching and keeping track over the southeastern coast, uh, uh, Hurricane Ian did come through our Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area late yesterday evening into this morning. And as I make this video about 4.30 p.m. on Friday, September the 30th, uh, the worst is certainly have, has passed us. Uh, we felt pretty much everything coming through early, early this morning, Friday, into the lunchtime, um, early afternoon uh, time frame. And um, I'm making this video just for a quick update for you all to keep track, uh, provide you some good information, some good links to our government resources here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, who've been doing a great job keeping us locals updated. And hopefully you've been using those resources as well. Um, so big key takeaways right now, um, we had some wind gusts, some rain. Generally when these storms come through, it did make landfall in our area as a hurricane category one. Um, generally speaking, us locals, we don't usually leave until it's uh, really a three. Some people leave when it's a two, but really a three is, uh, as locals is a good indication to get out. Um, so we, a lot of us did stay, it was a category one. Uh, we had some high wind gusts, on and off rains, some pretty heavy rains. And really that was the topic of this storm. The storm surge in the Grand Strand area was pretty severe. Uh, actually, we haven't seen too much uh, inland flooding yet. Um, obviously, sometimes that comes with the storm passing, uh, but we did end up losing parts of Apache Pier, which is near Lake Arrowhead Road, uh, Kingston Plantation, Shore Drive area. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. We did unfortunately lose part of that pier uh, which is just devastating. We did lose parts of the Cherry Grove Pier, uh, the Second Avenue Pier, and the Polly's Island Pier. Um, again, the storm surge uh, w w was pr pretty intense. I saw some live footage down there and um, some of the worst that I've actually seen. And from a Category 1, it was just very strange. Um, so some coastal flooding from that storm surge obviously is there. But as we move inland, we're not, we're not really seeing a whole lot of uh, issues with um, groundwater and water and backed up in the streets inland. Obviously our low-lying areas, they did get a lot of rain very quickly, so we'll be keeping watch for that. Um, but if you're watching this and you have a second home or an investment property here along the Grand Strand and you need to be following based on where your property is, I would really encourage you to start watching stuff like um, going to Santee Cooper and or Ori Electric. These are our two largest uh, electric companies here to see if you've lost power, if you're still without, if your property's still without power. They do a really good job keeping you updated. You can put in your address. Again, that's Santee Cooper, S-A-N-T-E-E -E, Cooper, and, and, uh, or, and or Ori Electric. It's whoever you make your utility bills to. So visit their websites. You can also go to WMBFnews.com. They've done a great job covering the storm and the effects of the storm. Obviously, they're going to some of the worst areas uh, and highlighting those areas, but it is good for you to kind of keep track of what's happening in our area, uh, and particularly your community or your specific home. Um, please use me as a resource. I I've included also some links to some live webcams uh, from Myrtle Beach and visit MyrtleBeach.com and Myr Myrtle Beach City uh, government website. They have some live cameras set up. Uh, on the boardwalk downtown and different areas of Myrtle Beach so you can check out those live cameras that's a good way to just watch the storm for yourself uh, maybe a lot of you uh, have actually already reached out to me you're going to come visit your oceanfront condos or your second homes just to just uh, feel out the damage make sure your home's okay I would encourage you to do that uh, certainly we've had worse storms so I'm not expecting a whole lot of damage to properties and property damage but it is something that you want to keep an eye on Maybe giving your neighbor a call, make sure no tree limbs came down or um, possibly any uh, storm water coming up from the streets, possibly getting into the garage, things of that nature. So we keep our, continue our prayers for the people in Florida, continue your prayers for the people affected um, uh, severely here in the southeast, in particular Myrtle Beach in the South Carolina area. And if you ever need anything, please use the links in this email. Um, I know this is a video, but if you go back to the email, all of my contact information is there. You're more than welcome to email me, text me, or give me a call. I will be working this weekend, um, taking a drive out tomorrow, maybe even later this evening, but tomorrow for sure, and Sunday, just kind of surveying the damage, and I will certainly provide a report like I usually do 
uh, to all of you following. So thank you again for your trust and support. If you're watching this and you're in the impact zone for the rest of the weekend, please be safe and careful. Uh, if you're watching this and you're somewhere in Florida, um, my prayers go out to you and your family. And of course, if you have property here in Myrtle Beach or live in Myrtle Beach, let's stick together, work together, and we will get through this stronger and better. So uh, please reach out and give us a call, 843-450-3837, 843-450-3837. Thank you again for watching. Blessings to you and your entire family. Um, and thank you again for your trust and support. Take care. Have a good weekend.